welcome to pre-season testing for season 2 where Verstappen is looking to get his number one back after losing it to Charles Leclerc and Red Bull are not looking too bad coming into this season but definitely look behind Ferrari with Charles Leclerc having the, the number one on his car and now looking to defend his first title. Mercedes though look to be back after a big off season and they're really looking like they're going to go for it in 2023. After Bottas retired, Alfa Romeo have signed junior Ferrari driver Robert Schwartzman to partner Guan Yu Zhou for the 2023 season, which is a young driver lineup for Alfa Romeo, first time in a little while. The big news is that Brown, after being frustrated with the Alpine's reliability, heads to Aston Martin to replace Sebastian Vettel after he retired. After Yuji Tsunoda's aggression in France Toss getting a very annoyed of it and agreeing with Helmut Marko over the Japanese driver's future, he has been dropped from the Red Bull program completely, Yuji Tsunoda, and has been left to find his own seat and has been snapped up by Alpine as a replacement to Brown. Replacing Yuki Tsunoda is Esteban Ocon after his second year out in the sport. Getting frustrated with Toto Wolf, he has decided to ditch the Mercedes driver programme and heads to the Red Bull programme where he's hoping for the second time to get his career back on track. That's all the driver moves and now after three days of testing it's time for the Bahrain Grand Prix and the start of Season 2. Hello and welcome to the start of season 2 for the F1 22 driver career mode where we have moved from Alpine to Aston Martin A because I was really getting annoyed with Alpine's reliability after the amount of points we dropped last season and B because I originally wanted to do Aston Martin but I didn't want to replace Vettel and it was unrealistic to replace Stroll. Bearing in mind Vettel's retired, we are going to replace him going into this season. Whereas you would have just seen on the R&D, Aston Martin don't have the best car and it's actually a bit of a gone backwards a little bit. But sometimes you have to go backwards to go forwards in Formula 1. The calendar for this season then, we're going to start off in Bahrain, then we head to Jeddah, then it's Australia, Imola for the sprint, Monaco, Canada, Britain, Austria, France, Hungary, Belgium, Italy, Singapore, Mexico, USA, and we round the season out with a sprint around the Brazilian Grand Prix. That's all the TLC done now, let's go to the Bahrain Grand Prix. This is the real deal, and it's make or break here at round one of this year's Formula One World Championship. We go racing today around 3.36 miles of the magnificent Bahrain International Circuit with 15 corners and two good passing opportunities into turns one and four. Keep an eye out for drivers locking the front left into the tricky braking zone of turn 10. It's time to take a look at our starting grid for today's race. What a qualifying yesterday for George Russell. He'll start today's race from pole position, edging out Max Verstappen, who will start from P2. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Sonoda, Ricardo, Guan Yu Zhou, and Leclerc, Hamilton, Ocon, Fernando Alonso, and Mick Schumacher, Magnussen, Brown, Lando Norris, and Stroll, Gasly, Sainz, Alex Albon, and Robert Schwartzman. Perez and Nicholas Latifi. Which of these talented drivers will come out on top today? A new season then, a clean slate where anything could happen. Anthony Davidson is with me today as we get another year of Formula One underway. We're into those tense few minutes before the first race then. Everyone's a little bit nervous about reliability. They haven't been running in the hot, turbulent wake of other cars in practice. And they've not been pushing at 100% for long durations. Let's hope no one has to deal with any nasty surprises. So it's one stop again now with some updates on the car. Turn into season two. We could do the softs onto the hard, but we want to play the long game. So we did the bug standard but we did it every race last season, medium to hard, and you can see as they're pulling into our grid spot where I feel I've finally got this 
under control now and we get the purple. So let's go then to the start of season two. It's lights out and away we go. And it's a good start by George Russell from Paul. You will notice Fernando Alonso up there. I hope you have got a good car this year. And so have Mercedes as we send it to the inside. We gained a couple of positions there from P13. Now we go round the outside of Lewis Hamilton at the start. Maybe a bit dodgy, a little bit off the track there, but it doesn't matter. We cover off our fellow Britain now try to go round the outside of Joey Kwan Yu but now heading down through the S's down the hill Hamilton decided to come back at us and now he's gone for a gap that didn't really exist and he's tapped us and we've had to correct the slide and we've lost out and had to go over the runoff and Fernando our former teammate We've pushed him off the track, or we've driven off the track. More driven off the track. It's a dramatic start here. We've lost several places. We've lost out to Hamilton and Ricardo. And now we may lose out to Lando Norris. But we cover him off. Carlos Sainz, after winning the first race last season, is on at the back. And he's gone off the track. And what a dramatic start to this Bahrain Grand Prix. Three bits of contact, two retirements with big, big mistakes. And now, coming to the end of lap one, here is Mick Schumacher, who we seem to always end up battling. We're side by side with him, we hold the line straight round the outside. We ended last season battling him, and we're starting this season battling the German driver. As we defend him, and now Lando Norris down our inside. We try to hold it round the outside, but I think he has got the job done as the done on this as we have a much tighter line into turn two. And now here comes Mick Schumacher again on us. To the outside we try and hold the line all the way around the outside. And we do hold the line somehow there. And now here comes Mick Schumacher again. As Lando's got past it, Alfa Romeo, and now we are on the back of Joey Kuan Yu as there is we've sent the dive bomb as Schumacher tried to re overtake us we said no 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 we are going to send it back down the inside and it's jumped in there we re overtake um, Mick Schumacher and now wheel to wheel with Mick Schumacher again we go wide though very very deep into turn one back round there so Lancelot has got past um, Joe Grand Yu. As now this is Carlos Sainz going oh so slow because as you can see from the graphic he has a puncture and this weekend could not get any worse for Carlos Sainz. Drove off the track at the start and now he has a puncture as those start to pit that started on the softs and we've been done by that straw I decided to let him go because he was the quicker car and now side by side this is Joe with Pierre Gasly and the side Joe has stayed ahead just about and there's Perez cutting his way back through the field who has not had the best of starts this season either as there's a lock up there as Gasly is not done yet with with the Alfa Romeo side by side can he hold the line down the inside round the outside but he has to back out of it and that is job done is here is now Sergio Perez on the back of us flicks his steering wheel to the inside and he's got job done on on us there coming out of the first corner now this happened on cold tyres and we've done him to the outside job done there on the Dutch driver but unfortunately it wouldn't be long before he came back at this once he got those hard tyres up to temperature and his job done 
Farm as he is fighting for the win in this race, I believe. As he disappears off up the road. As now here comes the Ferrari of Charles Leclerc as he starts his title defence this season. He gets past us and at the back of us now is Robert Schwartzman in his Alfa Romeo on his debut in the sport. A bit realistic that with him being part of the Ferrari Junior Driver programme or it was, I'm not sure whether he still is as we come into the pits to make our one and only stop of the day purple time here, I've got that nailed now onto the hards, we have to wait for our own, for our own pits there but as we jump down the pit lane we are going to come back out onto the track behind quite a few cars that we were in front of but hopefully we have the pace to get ourselves back in this but this Aston Martin especially through I think it's turn 10 and turn 11 as we weave to get the tyres up to temperature the rear end of this Aston Martin was an absolute dog just no grip and now we head down the hill through the S section and so by side with Robert Swartz when there's contact just like there was with Lewis Hamilton earlier on in the day there's now the two Williams go side by side down into the final corner there's a Ferrari there's, there's a big lock up there from Alex Albon nearly straight to the side of his teammate there's now they drag race each other down into turn one and the Ferrari there is trying to find a way through with their side by side to the inside right over the curb there goes Alex Albon yeah side by side they through the first couple of corners the TV is obviously taking something this morning because there's no way he's ever been this aggressive in his entire life through the yes section now we head down the hill this is allowing us and sportsmen to get away as through start by side neither of it given up your capito probably looking through his for his hands at the minute as no the TV remembered who it was and has spun on the entry to turn nine I think I think it is. Oh what has he done there? Just straight up just gone on right up on the curb as the Ferrari gets past Alex Albon there. Carlos Sainz having to do a recovery drive after that puncture is now here he comes on the back of us it was only going to be a matter of time before this Spaniard did it has not been a good good start to the season for him is now hopefully we can stick with him but I doubt it and we've actually fallen back now into Joe Granu who started around fifth in this race so he has not had a good day as he tries to go to our outside and we squeeze him right right onto the curb there luckily he has some skill and doesn't do a Latifi earlier on in this Grand Prix he just dropped it on the curb now Albon tries to go round the outside of him through turn 4 now through downhill through the S section and this still side by side and it looks like Alvon may have just got that head in Roberts was um, and you Joe Joe Guan Yu does have to back out of that one there's now there it goes Alvon on us Williams really making the most of this and quite aggressive you see and when I said sometimes you have to go backwards to go forwards I didn't think it would be this far backwards as we tried to cut Albon back, have a big tank slapper, but we still managed to get in his toe and we pull slightly to the inside. And he follows us. We follow his slipstream and now we try and go around the outside but he but he covers it off and now going up the hill. I was fully ready to have a go but we had a massive tank slapper lit up the rear tires and 
unfortunately he has got to say he ran wide into turn four and that Williams is gone and is up the road and now this is Fernando Alonso out of the points battling Pierre Gasly and he is slowing down and Fernando Alonso is going to retire he has an engine issue and this is a prime example as to why I decided to get the hell out of that Alpine car can't be dealing with issues like that we had so many this is brand new Joe to the inside he locks up and he's in the contact with Nicholas and Stevie. but now heading down the hill I was not happy with that we squeeze him right off the track brand new Joe and we nearly drop it now we send it very aggressively back down the inside massive oversteer because at the time I feel really bad about it now but at the time I didn't realise there was contact that you can see there. I didn't realise that he locked up. So I just thought he was trying to send me really, really wide and off the track. So that's why I was so aggressive and that's why I really tried to push him off the track. You can see how big the lock up is there and Nicholas Latifi. After it's been his scores back up <laughs> and it's on thank you very much indeed. And got past both of us now. And that means we're fighting over last places. Joe Kwan Yu has to have back out of that. And now onto the final lap of this Grand Prix. We're side by side. We're fighting for the wooden spoon. And, you know, I don't let things go. We fought some right off the track as well there. But unless a lot of people retire, we're on for our worst results when we've finished the Grand Prix. But George Russell, the game denied him of his first win in Abu Dhabi. But he's going to win it this time. And it's going to count. Verstappen comes home for P2. Charles Leclerc, at the start of his title to defence season, can only manage P3. Three different constructors in the top three. And now, Guan Yu Zhou can, Joe Guan Yu can, he makes a move on us to demote us into P18. He tries to go to the outside into that really difficult turn 10, I think it is. But we ran wide, he cuts us wide because the car was dreadful through that section. As Joe understeers off the track and he's going to hand us P18. You can see there, it looks a lot worse from the off board. You can see there with the onboard in the little box. But we are going to come home for P18 on our Aston Martin debut. That's it then for another spectacular Grand Prix here in Bahrain and a real champion's drive to take the win. Tell me, Anne, how do you think they were able to deliver such an incredible result today? I think that smart tyre management on track and very smooth driving definitely assisted in their victory today. That combination meant they got the absolute maximum out of their tyres at all times. I can see the drivers starting to approach the podium for the victory celebrations. A real team victory today. Everyone played their part. Congratulations then to Mercedes, your race winners today. So that's been the start of season two then, I hope you enjoyed it, not the way I wanted to start the season with Aston Martin, but like I said earlier, sometimes you have to go backwards to go forwards, just ask Daniel Ricciardo at the minute, and Lewis Hamilton when he first went to Mercedes, Lance Stroll managed to get us some points which is not too, not too shabby, but yeah that's been the first race of the season, 
is definitely a long one there's a long way to go we're gonna be here for a few seasons and it's a big project but we've got to be strong hope you've enjoyed this video make sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you for round two in saudi arabia goodbye